Hey guys, welcome back to Stage Door Stories. Today I'm taking you through three people who inspire me. One is possibly the greatest rock singer of all time. Two is a music theatre performing star. And number three is an actor who I have a heck of a lot of respect for. Let's get into it. So today we're going through three performers who inspire me. Each one of them is from a different part of the performing industry. And first up is possibly the greatest singer of all time, Freddie Mercury, who was born Farouk Bolsara. Uh, and he was of Parsi descent from Zanzibar and then later moved to Britain where he eventually joined the band Queen um, and became possibly one of the greatest singers of all time in that band. I absolutely love them. I've got their record on a half speed master. It's sitting on my record player right now because I play it all the time. Um, he inspires me because he had a very, very, very iconic voice and he worked his way up from being pretty much a nobody in the performance scene and people didn't think he could sing or that he was particularly attractive to literally being a sex icon for you know men and women, being one of the most incredible vocalists our generation has seen or possibly will ever see. Not only that, as is explained in the film Bohemian Rhapsody, which if you haven't seen it, please go and see. It's, you know, more or less uh, the Queen story. It's pretty much entirely factual. Uh, they stuck to their guns. He knew that the song Bohemian Rhapsody was a hit. Uh, the label didn't want to buy of it. They said it was too long, it was too convoluted, there was too much going on. And if you ask anyone about their top five songs of all time, Bohemian Rhapsody is probably going to be in that list. And that's only because Queen and particularly Freddie stuck to their guns and said, this is a song that the people want to hear. He was a singer for the people. They were one of the first bands to introduce audience participations into their songs uh, with songs like We Will Rock You uh, and We Are The Champions being anthems for the people. Moving on to number two, who is a music theatre legend, Michael Patrick Smith, or as he's more colloquially known, Michael Crawford. Michael Crawford was born on January the 19th, 1942, so we actually share a birthday, which is really, really cool. In 1967, he made his Broadway debut with Peter Schaeffer's Black Comedy. He went on from there to play one of the most iconic roles in British television history. Uh, throughout the 70s, he was Frank Spencer in Some Mothers Do Have Them. And if you haven't seen it, Go, get on YouTube, look it up, Michael Crawford, Frank Spencer. I think it's one of the most funniest things I've ever seen. The emphasis on physical comedy is absolutely hilarious. But not only is he an incredible actor, he's also an incredible singer. I've showed you once before, Phantom of the Opera is one of my favourite shows, and he played Phantom in the original production. He was the man, the voice, the Phantom. So not only has he got incredible acting chops, but he's also got an amazing voice, one that I aspired to be like, in my early training. And finally, inspirational actor number three, uh, who's a straight actor and stand-up comedian and someone who I have an incredible amount of respect for, is Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey is known as one of the best uh, stand-up comedians and film comedians that, that our generation has ever seen. But a lot of people don't know that Jim didn't have it that easy growing up. Uh, when he was young, uh, his father lost his job and they ended up living in a minivan parked on the lawn of a relative's house. At age 10, he would work an eight hour shift after school just to help provide for his family. When he was about 15 or 16, he started getting into stand-up comedy and would constantly try and get places, but would quite often be more or less booed off the stage. He kept pursuing until he was around 28. At age 28, he wrote himself a check for $10 million entitled Acting Services Rendered. After writing this check, he gave himself five years to cash in $10 million. Now, I'm not saying acting is all about making money, but that's a pretty bold statement for someone who's a struggling actor to be making. Within five years' time, he's going to be on eight figures. He kept that check in his wallet every day until July of 1995. Just a few short weeks before the deadline he'd made for himself, he found out that he would be making $10 million on his hit film, Dumb and Dumber. In a very poetic manner, not long after that, sadly, his father passed away and he buried the check along with his father. Jim Carrey, he's an incredible actor, got incredible skill, but someone who's been determined through adversity and even gone to the extent of writing himself a check for $10 million and putting that pressure on himself to perform. That's inspiring. 
I find that work ethic incredibly, incredibly contagious and that's something that I want to aspire to be like. So there you have it. Those are the three performers that inspire me the most. Please leave a comment below with the people or performers that inspire you and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time guys.